Have you ever had that really fucking annoying parent who pretty much says, you have to dress nice to get a nice job. <clears throat> you have to blah, 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 blah to get a nice ass job. That's bullshit. People will look up to you more if you be yourself, not someone who they want you to be. I grew up with grandparents <clears throat> and parents. Okay. I grew up with parents and grandparents both telling me that I have to dress like a perfect little shit to get a job. You know what? You don't have to dress like a perfect little shit. They'll actually look up to you more if you be yourself. And seriously, I'm going to a dispensary today. That always, Wi-Fi always pops up. And this thing is just, oh good, there are no cars, I won't die. And it pops up again. Of course it does. Yeah. Maybe, hopefully. The Wi-Fi will stop popping up. Oh, it popped up again. Okay, there we go. So pretty much, in our brainwashed society, if we don't dress like a perfect little shit, we won't get a good job. That's not true. One, because I'm going to a dispensary to look for a job, a weed dispensary, so I don't really have to dress very nice, because everyone there is freaking stoned. Uh. Also, I have a really good resume. But I grew up with a dad and a grandma telling me that I couldn't do certain things because my number of my age was certain, a certain thing. Hold on, there's someone behind me. I'll let them pass. Oh, I passed it already. Damn. Oh well. What is this at? If only I could see in the sun. Uh, but I can't. Oh. So pretty much I grew up with a very anxiety type dad and a very anxiety type grandmother. Whenever we were in <coughs> restaurants, or places like that, if I asked for uh, uh, a kid's menu so I could draw on the back and do something, because I was bored, I would always get the response, you're embarrassing that girl asking for that. And I'm like, no I'm not. She smiles. I can tell when someone's nervous and when someone's happy. When someone different comes along, someone's happy because they don't experience different people very often. The more you bring up shit like that, the more brainwashed you appear to me. Because the media is the one who shows how nice, nice suits are. I remember when I dressed up nice and I got so many positive responses on Facebook. I'm like, all because I put different clothes on because I didn't wear what I wanted to wear. I wore what everyone around me wanted me to wear. I, they're like, good job at not being yourself. We're proud of you. I, come on, I bet some of my subscribers have goddamn parents or grandparents who are so fucking brainwashed that they assume that wearing a suit makes you a different person. And it kind of does, but I don't want to wear a suit because I want to be myself. Not some little perfect shithead con man. Like seriously, seriously, who the fuck would want to be that? I mean, my other grandma who I live with was fine that I didn't dress nice. 
but I called earlier yesterday the dispensary to ask the manager's name. This is what you should do when you're trying to get a job, only so you can invest that money into having passive income, because you don't want to have a fucking job where you work and get 1200 a month where you can barely buy food and barely pay for your rent. You don't want that life. You want an actual good life. Why do you think I'm making a YouTube? Why do you think I'm creating all this stuff on social media and, per and promoting my actual human name? My mom asked me one day, I mean yesterday, if I would like to ever change my name. And I'm like, no, fuck that. I would never change my name. I'm proud of my name. <clears throat> and I wouldn't change it ever. Because I want to restore the Dalla family name. Because I seriously see it broken. It's broken. My dad's dad doesn't share with my dad. My dad didn't share with us. And if he did, it was rare. And my grandpa's dad didn't share with him. I come from a long line of family members who work their asses off to get what they want. Everyone in my family is very determined to make their lives better, but no one around them. I plan on having lots of children when I'm financially secure and giving them everything they want, not spoiling them. <coughs> but I plan on being the best parent I possibly can. But not now, because I'm not ready to be a parent. Can't stand those people who have sex unprotected like crazy because it feels good. <laughs> Don't ask how I know that. Because then they have a kid and then they're surprised and they're like, Oh shit, I'm a teenager and I have a kid. That's your fault. People can't handle the truth. People can't handle reality anymore. You tell them, oh, it's completely your fault that that happened. They're like, no, it's just coincidence. No, it's your fault. You have to take responsibility for the shit you cause. When I grew up, and when I was growing up, and my dad and his mom would always say that adults don't do that. Well, then I guess I'm not an adult. I am a child at heart, and I always will be. Why? Because I'm not afraid of what the fuck everyone says about me. Someone makes fun of my ears? Oh well, that's your fault. You're depressed, so you're making fun of me. It's true. It's... People only will make fun of you if they're insecure about something about themselves. Take this information in as good information that you need because no one else is going to tell you this shit everyone's going to be like oh I want to fit into society I want to be like everyone else and no one will ever be different you need to become different you need to accept that you're different and you need to embrace being different you got to be happy about being different you gotta stop pretending that you're something else because the more you pretend to be something you're not, the more you wanna kill yourself inside. Yeah? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, wave to the nice car person. <laughs> wave. Wave to Dave. Look at all the traffic right beside me. And then I trip on something and I hit my head and I die, maybe. And it's all because of a selfie stick. McDonald's, you bastard, you logged me out. Oh, seriously, fuck McDonald's. Oh, it's still recording, good. Ah, ah. Now you can see all the sexy people behind me. <clears throat> well, I guess I'm gonna have to wait. 
and record a bunch of people. Eh. Whatever time this ends at 14 minutes, I'm just going to end it regardless of what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, yes. Wait, wait, wait. I like how it says that. This is when I put this away so the cars don't hit it. guy's like, what is he holding? <laughs> There's the bus. There are the nice people. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. Get everything. Get everything on camera. You are on camera. What do you have to say? Okay. <laughs> Okay, the bus is coming. I have to go now. Bye.